before, before I set the theme of the week, which is attacking the second self. Yeah. I would like to speak. I would like to speak about a skill, about a mental skill that is one of the most important mental skills in tennis. And this skill is called attentional focus. Has anyone heard that before? No. <laughs> <laughs> I know I could do with it. Yeah. Okay. So for example, so at, 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 attentional focus, yeah, is in two dimensions. So width is the one dimension, how broad or narrow our attention is, and direction. Is our attention external to something else? Or is it or is our attention internal to ourselves? Okay, so for example, a football player, like an attacking midfielder in football, his attention is broad and external. Yeah, because he's looking at the gaps of the defense to find his where his teammate, teammates are to uh, pass the ball. Yeah, a golfer when he plays, his attention is narrow because he's looking at one little hole to put the ball and <coughs> internal. Okay, does that make sense? Is everyone following me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, I give you another example. Uh, a marathon runner, yeah. What would be his attention? The finish line. Wow, 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 wow. So, say it. What? Narrow and internal. Narrow and internal. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. It would be narrow and internal. Okay. So, what would the tennis? Like the foot. Depends on whether you're single. Let's say, let's say doubles. Since we are doubles builder group, okay. let's say doubles. Okay. All right. Anyone else has an idea? Well, with tennis, I think you have to do both. Okay. Like, yeah. depending on the situation of it. Like the footballer. Like the footballer, so broad and external. Okay. Anyone else? Because it constantly changes. So, if we had, if we had a cross, I would put like broad, narrow internal, external, yeah, the tennis player would be broad and internal, but very close to the lines, because our attention usually can be external and can be narrow as well. So let's make it specific now. When our attention in tennis is internal? <coughs> Serving, very good. Return. Yeah, what else? What else? Exactly. So, from the moment your opponent, so your teammate or your opponent hits the ball, so you see the ball traveling to you, yeah, the attention straight away becomes internal while I'm not going to do it. Okay? From the moment you hit the ball until the moment they hit the ball, your attention goes external. Yeah? When the ball comes to you, the attention becomes narrower until the moment you hit the ball and from the moment you hit the ball it becomes broader does it make sense so effectively you've made the decision sort of before it's coming back to you so you've made the decision where it's going so that you can concentrate on exactly. where you're going to hit it exactly so now going back to the return itself yeah it's very very important to narrow down your attention as much as possible yeah? So, the goal of, of the next exercise that we're going to try and do is, the first goal of the exercise is to narrow our attention and try to erase any background noise, so any background distractions, okay? So keep our eyes to the server. Pay attention to whatever they do, how many times they bounce the ball, how they open up, where they hit you. And from the moment they hit it, our eyes should be locked at the ball. Make sense? Okay. So let's leave that for now. Second thing. For why is it important to attack the second serve? It's weaker. So first of all, it's weaker. Very good. <coughs> what else? It's softer. It's usually softer, yeah, which is similar to it. Huh? It's shorter, exactly. So it is usually shorter. 
Any mental reasons? Exactly. It puts them a lot under pressure. Okay. And then, if you attack it continuously, then they have to do something about it, which will put them out of their comfort zone and then make more mistakes. Okay. So, how do we attack the second self? Take it early. Very good. Move forwards. Very good. Push it deep if you can. Push it deep. Very, very good. Okay. Another thing to do, apart from all those three things that you said, is not to stop the movement forward. So, for example, Two steps. The skill that I would like you to practice now is hitting and leaning. Okay? Not being static, hitting. Okay? Does it make sense? Yes? Alright, so if you are from this side here, you will be hitting second serve only. Far side. Practicing those two skills, narrowing the attention and focus, and attacking the ball with the body. Okay? Let's go, let's spread out. 